In this lesson, we're going to talk about how it is that we simplify variable expressions. So it all comes down to this concept right here of combining like terms. Okay. So, you know, if uh, on one plate I had five cookies, and on another plate I had three cookies, you could say quite easily that I have a total of eight cookies, right? However, if um, on one plate, let's say I had five cookies, and then I wanted to add three apples, the fact that they are no longer the same thing means I can't put these two numbers together like I could to make five cookies plus three cookies is eight cookies. Here I would have to leave them apart. Okay, So we would refer to you know these two terms as like terms and these two as unlike terms. So here they end up getting combined um, by just simply adding how many of each we have, whereas here we have to keep them separate. Okay, so, um, so what we want to do when we see a variable expression is try to find any like terms and when we see like terms put them together. All right. So the definition is that like terms in a variable expression are terms that contain the same variables with the same exponents. Okay. So for example, uh, let's say, you know, 2x and 3x, those are like terms. Okay. Um, if I took 2x and 3x squared, those are not like terms. And that's because even though they both involve the same variable, they don't have the same exponents on those variables. Okay. You know, and 2x and 3y are not like terms either because even though they have the same exponent uh, you know an exponent of one up there that's hiding out the variables aren't the same so they're not like terms okay now for these first couple of uh, problems it's real simple you can see obviously we have like terms and so we want to combine them and so the way we combine them is by using either addition or subtraction uh, and we just add or subtract the coefficients on those like terms. Okay, So it's real simple here. 5x plus 3x, just like my 5 cookies plus 3 cookies, ends up giving me 8x's, just like we had 8 cookies. So we literally just do the sum of the coefficients to give us the new coefficient. Okay, And we'll have the same thing here, but of course we have fractions involved, so we better uh, make sure we have like term, or sorry, uh, common denominators, so that we can combine our like terms. So the least common denominator of eight and six, of course, is twenty-four. So I'll multiply top and bottom of this fraction by three, top and bottom of this fraction by four, and so what I'll end up with here is nine twenty-fourths x plus 20 24ths x and of course I can combine these into 29 24ths x. Now one note here is that um, we really want to actually keep improper fractions as our answers whenever we have an algebraic answer. So whenever we're doing algebra problems leave your fractions is improper. Do not convert them into mixed numbers. Okay, because if I wrote out one and five twenty-fourths x, I think we can all agree that that looks awkward. You you aren't sure what we're doing there. You know, is it one times five twenty-fourths times x? Uh, you know, it's it's really confusing. So, with algebraic expressions, we are just never going to use mixed numbers.